Angela Cerny is one of those people that you just cannot function without. Um, she is an integral part of our classrooms, our hallways, uh, our kids' lives, our professional lives. She is one of the most deserving people to be honored in this district. She is my um, right-hand person for one to two periods a day, and she's my uh, special education paraprofessional. She came in and uh, she was with us a few days and teachers started kind of fighting over her because they saw how good she was. And the best thing about her is she doesn't only work with her own kids, she works with all the kids. She um, helps kids with, you know, different exceptionalities. Um, this year she's been working with children with autism and she has been amazing. And she has been fantastic because this was a brand new unit. We both had a lot to learn and I really couldn't have asked for a better partner uh, as we start this new project. She really cares about the kids. She's organized. She's always enthusiastic. She's dependable and she's just terrific. So I really hope that she wins this award because she deserves it. She is relentlessly positive every day. Sometimes if it wasn't for her keeping a smile on her face no matter what's going on, I would feel you know, down, but she, she stops that. Um, she is so accommodating to the kids. She loves the children so much. She goes above and beyond any pair professional I've ever worked with to make sure that all the learners' needs are being met. Like, I can't get over how hard she works. And again, still relentlessly pos you know, positive at the end of the day. I honestly don't know what we would do without her. Um, she just is, is part of what makes Monticello great. Deb is awesome for a lot of reasons. Um, she always has a smile on her face. She was always willing to help you. She is doing a million things and she will still stop and do whatever you're asking her to do. Uh, we love Deb around here, that she kind of makes the building run. She is fantastic. She brings a very happy spirit to our building. Deb's reputation, she's a, a hard worker. That is her reputation. I think that she's one of those quiet people. So whatever you ask her to do, she's going to get it done. And she'll, she'll find a way to make it happen. I can tell you of several instances where I'll go up to her like, Deb, I need a class coverage for this person, or I need this, I need that. And she never says no. She just she makes it happen. Deb is very enthusiastic about her job, and I think she's very pro-teacher and pro-kid. Um, I just feel like she brings a great energy to the building, and you can go to Deb for anything you need. Uh, I have taken lots and lots of things from her over the years. Uh, she always has glue sticks, and anything you ask for uh, that she's not even supposed to give you, she will find a way to make sure she slips it into your mailbox. And she is really a true member of the CHUH community. Not only does she work here, but she sent her daughter to the school district. Congratulations, Deb. No one is prouder than, than all of us at our staff that you represent us so well. You have been a Roxborough rock forever, so we love you. You know, I think of Vivian as someone that's very uh, considerate of the people that she works with. Um, extremely professional. Uh, and very intelligent. Uh, you know, she is somebody that uh, you can really rely on. She is a gatekeeper for every single person in this building and at every other building outside of like school. If you think about it, she connects everybody to every single building, knows who to talk to, knows who to reach out to. Well, Vivian uh, is that front door. You know, she's the front door of the district. So, um, you know, if anybody's been to Lowe's or Home Depot lately and picked out some paint and a beautiful front door, well, she's our beautiful front door, so. And I went to substitute as, uh, attend uh, as a secretary for Ms. Stephenson, and Vivian was there to guide me. She took a complete rookie under her wings and told me all the things that I learned and I still use it. Um, I loved watching her interact with the parents and, the, and you know, the students and I learned how important it is to be empathetic, which is I think her greatest quality. She, is, she epitomizes what our community stands for. For the past three years, I have worked with Vivian and they have been extraordinary. I think it's all due to her kindness, her laughter, her understanding and of course her big beautiful heart. 
Vivian shows so much passion and dedication um, every single day to this school district and the community. She loves it so much. And numerous times she has told me how much she loves her job and she feels so lucky. Well, Vivian, let me tell you, we're the lucky ones to have you. You're an amazing coworker, the best mom, and my dear friend. And I will forever be grateful for the memories we shared together. So congratulations on being nominated for Helping Hand of the Year. Um, let me shout it out. This is so awesome. And you are so awesome, Viv. Cheers. So Luana Smith. Luana serves currently as the administrative assistant for the Career and Technical Education Department. And there could not be a more dedicated employee. Luana has an infectious laugh and is so caring, has such great work ethic, loves, loves, loves the students, and is just really dedicated to making sure that things go as smoothly as they possibly can within the Career and Technical Education Department. I'd have to say that she's a, 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 an important piece to our school, you know, as far as our, our staff, our kids most definitely, because everybody loves her, you know, she loves everybody else, so uh, she was important to me because when I, you know, if I had certain issues, there, there was only certain people that I was comfortable speaking to or talking to, so uh, she was one of them. Uh, and I, I think that's what makes, you know, this district and these schools special, whether it's, you know, from the elementary school level on to high school, is that, you know, you build these relationships that are, that are long lasting, so. You know, for me to be a ex, you know, a student, and now work here, and and still be able to see certain people that that work, you know, that built me and built my character, uh, I think it's special. So, so she's a phenomenal person. Luana is like one of the most kind people you'll ever meet. She's always trying to just do a nice thing for someone, um, and constantly just trying to make sure everyone's okay. Luana is definitely committed to the students. Um, she just, I can't even begin to say enough of, of all the different things that she, she does for the students. She's always smiling, she's really funny. She like, um, as soon as you walk in the door, you know, you can like banter with her, you can give her a hard time, she gives you a hard time. It's, she creates a really great family atmosphere. So you deserve all the recognition you can receive and then some. We really appreciate you. We know you don't like a lot of attention, but you do deserve the accolade. So thank you for all that you do. Yeah, so we're all rooting for you, Miss Smith. You know, uh, you know whether you win or not, you're a winner in our eyes you know, and in our hearts. As a parent, Linda's the first line of defense, right? She's the first person that greets you in the morning. Anytime you need anything, you need to interact with your child, you're worried about your child, Linda is your go-to person. And she has proven throughout the years I've had a child at Roxborough for eight to ten years. She's proven to be nothing but compassionate, uh, responsive. She has always gotten back to me right away. She's always made sure that my children were safe and had everything that they needed. So as a parent, I've always felt that my kids are in great hands because of Linda. When I think of Linda, I think of someone who is caring, helpful, helpful beyond anything. Linda is always happy. She's just always doing things to help our school become a better place. She goes above and beyond. She um, works with Rocks Arts. She uh, schedules uh, performances. Just recently, she got us information on a new program. We've done the Chinese Acrobats for years, but we're thinking about doing something different. And she's out there researching that and finding us different resources. I would definitely say when you think Linda, you think of Roxborough. When you think of Roxborough, you think of Linda. She is a true partnership with the staff. When I say that, I mean our sister school in Africa. She thinks of the fundraisers, she makes it happen. Um, she's always thinking of other people. Linda runs this place in many ways. She is so creative. She has um, a really interesting background in the field of the arts and theater, and so she can put a wonderful spin on anything, whether it's making an award for children, whether it's a flyer going home, or just her manner of handling situations that she can be dramatic but in a fun, creative, and supportive way. She's really our kind of go-to. When all else fails and everyone's kind of scratching their head, Linda has the answer. 
Linda, congratulations on your nomination for Helping Hand of the Year. You are the epitome of what a helping hand is. You go above and beyond. You help us become a great school. We appreciate all you do, and you certainly deserve that recognition.